watched over a hundred plus hours of many extremes. I'm on just with a high head, yeah. I'm like a high head guy, kind of. Yo, that was never not get old, bro. Video, they like zoom in on the high head. And I will go over the most important things I've learned, the tips I picked up along the way, and the thought process Benny X has behind his beats that really kind of changed my thought process of making beats. Let me not hold y'all up for too long. Let's get right into this. Even though Benny X doesn't need an introduction for most people, he's grown to become one of the greatest and most influential producers of this generation. His versatility and skill set is unmatched, which is underlined by his countless credits ranging from experimental trap to RB, pop, rock, even metal. <laughs> or his own genre, Afrofuturism. <laughs> now, even though he can make a beat in every genre and is guaranteed to be fire, <laughs> his style still shines through all these genres, which makes his beats easily recognizable, not just by his infamous tag. I'm working, I'm fine. Somebody call me Bonnet, that is not my name. To me, Benny X is one of the most skilled and talented producers, not just of this generation, but in this whole space of modern music. His sound is nothing like you've ever heard before, no matter the genre. So the first thing I realized and you will realize when watching Benny X streams is that he doesn't make 10 50 minute beats with just dragging in a loop and adding five drum sounds to it that's just something he doesn't do and you shouldn't be doing as well because although the beat you will end up making in those 10 to 50 minutes will be enough to get it placed putting five drum sounds onto a melody is something that won't make you stand out at all even if you're using the best melodies in existence when doing this, you're competing against people who are way bigger than you, have way bigger connections, and wanna get songs with the same artists you wanna have songs with. And especially with the sample game where it is right now, everybody can get amazing samples. So you just putting those five drum sounds on an amazing sample will just not cut it anymore. You will not stand out. <laughs> You can do this and may get some placement off of it if you grind long enough, but it always depends on what you want to achieve. If you just want to sell some beats here and there, then do that, you know? And if you can make a business off that, that's great. But if you want to stand out and create a brand or create a person that isn't just easily replaceable by the next producer who has way better connections, maybe is even better at you. What? You will just never stand out and will never be able to really establish a name in the whole music industry, modern music, producer world. Again, it just depends on what you want to do. But I feel like most people really do want to get their name out there. You know, Benny X goes beyond that producer community who is just known as a name in the music space. So if you want to achieve that, spending 50 minutes on a beat is just pointless. Now, if you have great connections, you can obviously get away with making a 50 minute beat with five sounds. You no know, best example, Rio. The beat actually only has five drum sounds. If you're starting off now and have no followers, nobody knows you, you would never even get into the position of having a lot of connections because you would just never stand out. So taking an hour or even longer for a beat is nothing bad. Although beats get skipped in a few seconds, it still makes sense to make less beats but spend more time on them because they will stand out and get picked much more likely than you know a large amount of decent beats. Now spending an hour plus on a beat does not mean making it hella complex, adding 10 different layers. It just more so means really taking your time to listen what really sounds right and what doesn't and what really fits in and what doesn't. Oh wait, that, that might throw people off actually. 
fit everything into its pocket instead of just spamming counter melodies and drums. So keep the beat simple, but add a good amount of details, a good amount of ear candy, and really listen back to see what the beat needs and what it doesn't need. Now the next point I noticed when watching Benny Extremes, and you will probably notice as well, after watching a few hours is that you should not be afraid to stick to one genre or the same type of beats and call that your sound. As I already mentioned in the intro, Benny X can literally make every genre you would throw at him and the sound would still shine through and be recognizable in some way or another. So don't box yourself in and go for the standard trap pattern when making a trap beat or for the standard drill pattern when making a drill beat. A lot of times, you know, mixing different patterns from different genres together, like for example, a trap snare or clap pattern with drill hi-hats. Or as another example, putting some drill elements and some Afrobeat elements together to make Benny X's own genre Afrofuturism. <laughs> really don't stick to that formula you may have in your head of how to make a trap beat or how to make a drill beat or how to make an effort type beat but instead just do whatever sounds good and really trust your ears consciously listen instead of you know just doing what you always do and not really thinking about it now next up we got the sampling slash loop subject for the people who watch some Benny extremes know that Benny X rarely uses loops he likes to sample some stuff sometimes but as far as samples or loops go he really doesn't use them a lot. And that is because Benny X is very good at creating ideas. Some people are more skilled in building out a rough idea, but generally speaking, it's obvious that when you don't use samples, you will get better, faster at making beats and samples. Benny X once said that you should always have a good balance between using loops, sampling stuff, and making stuff from scratch. And I definitely agree. Sometimes you just don't like to make stuff. Yeah, you just have your different phases, so just deal with it, but overall keep a good balance. All right, I think I've talked enough about the whole thought process, the whole mindset behind Benny X music and Benny X beats. Now for this last chapter, we will look into what really makes Benny X sound and what we can learn from this to create or build our own sound in our beats. Now, first off, we obviously got the bass 808 combination. Listen, listen! <laughs> if y'all even watch one minute of Benny Extreme or listen to one song that Benny X produced, you know he loves to combine 808 and bass. And I gotta say, if you try it out, it always sounds amazing. Now, another thing I already touched on when talking about not boxing yourself in, Benny X loves to switch up his clap slash snare pattern and never puts his snare slash clap in a spot where it belongs. You know, he always just puts it not where it is, but it just creates that crazy mode. That's definitely another Benny X thing that creates his sound. Now the next thing Benny X likes to do a lot is using very unorthodox sound. From like this Viking sample he used once. Okay, to just crazy walls of synths and unique sounds. He just has the ear for picking Benny X-like sounds that really complement his style. And I feel like that is the thing you will build over time when just making a lot of beats and samples, but you really consciously gotta do it. If you really, you know, think about what type of sounds you use in your samples and beats and continue to look for sounds like that you would definitely you know get to that sound like it literally says finding your own sound if you find what sounds you like that will be your sound and that is what benny x really perfected although he always uses these crazy sounds and soundscapes it always sounds cohesive it always fits together like everything just sonically sounds good together. Now I think that's everything when it comes to Benny X sound and what we can learn from it. Now last and least, I just want to say have fun when making beats no matter what. That is the most important thing. What Benny X always loves to do is pull up a vocal chain, just connect the mic and rap over the beat you're making with headphones on, already hearing the rough mix of your vocals as you're rapping them. Since I've seen Benny X do it, I've done it a bunch of times. It's just so much fun. It's cool. 
Like, I'm sure everybody has freestyled to their beats before, but hearing your mixed vocals in your headphones really gives it a whole nother feel. And if you find some crazy vocal melody, you can just record it instantly and maybe even add it to the beat. Like, that's another thing Benny Ace did so many times. Like, just record his stuff, you know, he even like recorded his baby one. Just having that microphone plugged up at all times and recording all type of, you know, stupid shit. Like, it would be like some stupid noises you make. That you can then just instantly record and put in your beat. Another thing that can really bring back the fun in making beats is getting an analog synth. Because you would take a whole different approach from making samples and beats when you use an analog synth. Because you can't change the notes or the sound afterwards, you really kind of lock in and really try to make something fire and just in general the whole feeling of using one and you know making your own sound it's just a whole different approach and it can definitely lead to way better results than just using a vst and a midi keyboard benny x uses his free synths which is the roland jx ap the udo super six and the profit in nearly every single beat he makes Alright, that's it with this video. Hope you enjoyed this kind of different video style. Let me know if you want more of these, maybe with some different producers analyzing their sounds and their thinking behind music. Go out of your way today to make something you've never made before. Push yourself into new territory when you make your beats and samples today. Hope you have an amazing day. I'm out. I think you got to take a crank in the morning. You ain't geeking, boy, your life is a lie. How you know all that shit was